Welcome again, Wildcats. All right, so today we're looking at Tuesday, May 9th, and looking at exact trigonometry values of special angles, and that's on page 81. So if you would, pause the video and update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at our notes. Okay. So we're looking at exact trigonometry values of special angles, and that's on page 81. Now, for examples 1, 2, 3, and 4, you're going to want to refer to page 80 for the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90 triangle notes. Okay? All right. For the remainder of the examples, we're going to have new notes on what's called reference angles. Okay? A reference angle is a positive acute angle formed by the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. Okay, so if you would pause and go and write that definition down. All right, now your definition is down. Let's take a look and let's look into what reference angles in more detail are. Okay, so you should know by now that with working with trigonometry that we look with the triangle, okay? Well... In the first quadrant, we look at angles anywhere from 0 to 90. But there are angles that are greater than 90, even greater than 180. So you use what's called a bow tie. Okay? You use these triangles represented in each quadrant. Okay? And you move counterclockwise. Okay? So counterclockwise. Okay? When doing so. Okay? And it's important to note that... First quadrant, the values are plus, positive and positive, negative and positive, negative, negative. And then in the fourth quadrant, it is, let's see, make sure I say this right, positive, negative. Okay. Now, we're leading with these notes into what's called the unit circle. And in the unit circle, this length from here to here is one. So for today, A, this is going to be 1. This length will be negative 1. Okay. And that will make more sense when we jump all in on the unit circle tomorrow. Okay. So if you would, pause the video and update your bow tie notes. All right. Now your bow tie notes are updated. Let's take a look at our examples. All right. And so this is on page 81. Okay, all right, so let's look at example one. Okay, now it says use trigonomic functions, so go ahead and mark that out and write special right triangles. Okay, we're going to use the special right triangles to find the missing sides. All right, so looking at example one, we can see that this is 30, this is 90, this is 60, so we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay? So using our notes from page 80, we know that a 30, 60, 90 triangle The sides are x, x squared to 3, and 2x. Okay? And that's important because here we have the side across from 30 is 6, so that means x is equal to 6. Okay? And if x is equal to 6, then the side across from 60 is 6 squared to 3. And that side across from 90 is 2 times 6, which is 12. Okay? So, we have AC here is across from 60. So, it's 6 square roots of 3. Okay, now 
here, the other missing side is AB, which AB is across from 90, and so 90 is 12, so AB equals 12. All right, so pause for a minute and finish up example one. Now, while you're finishing up example one, go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and try example three on your own, okay? All right, at this point, I'm assuming you paused, you tried example three, so now let's go through example three together, see if you were correct. All right, so example three, we see if this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees. So we know we have a 45 45, 90 triangle. Okay, and we know with a 45, 45, 90, the sides are x, x, x square root of 2. Okay, so let's see here. Well, the side across from 45 is 6, so that means x is 6. So that means this is 6, and this is 6 square roots of 2. So the missing side we're looking for is FE. It's one of the missing sides. Okay. Which is across from 45, so that's X. So we know that that is... 6. Okay, and then the other missing side we have here is DE, which is across from 90, which we know is 6 square roots of 2. All right, so that should set you up to try example four on your own, but don't worry, we'll go over some of these examples in class tomorrow. All right, so now let's look at example five. All right, so example five. Draw and use a reference angle to find the exact value of each trigonomic function, okay? This is where the bow tie Okay, comes in to play. So we're going to draw our x and y axis. Now in this case, 60 degrees lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So we're looking at this bow tie. But this part of the bow tie. Okay, so this is 60 degrees. We know that this is 90. Now as we talked about in the notes, this length is 1. Okay. So if this is 1, then we refer back to our 30, 60, 90. Where we know that this is x, x square roots of 3, and 2x. All right, if this is 60 degrees, we know that this is 30. So 30 is across from 1, so that means x equals 1. And if x equals 1 then this is 1 squared to 3, and this is 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so that means that across from 60, the length is square root of 3, and across from 90, the length is 2. Now that we have that, tangent of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite over our hypotenuse, so that's the square root of 3, divided by 2. All right. 
So go ahead and finish it up and see if you can set up and try example six. All right, now that you've done with example five, let's take a look at example six. All right, so All right, so what I always do is I look at zero degrees, nine degrees, hundred and well, that's not two, that's 180, and this is 270. Okay, I do that so I know where 225 lies. Well, remember we go counterclockwise, we're going this direction, and 225 lies between 180 and 270. So this is the part of the bow tie we're using. All right, this is 90 degrees. Now, we know we counterclockwise, we're trying to get to 225. Well, we're at 180 here, so we have to think, well, how much more do we have to go to from 180 to get to 225? Well, the answer to that is 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees, okay? Now, if this is positive one, remember, we knew this was positive one, positive. This is negative positive, so this is a negative one, okay? Now we reference our 45, 45, 90. So 45, 45, 90. Okay. So we know x, x, x square root of 2. All right. And so if this is negative 1, we know that this is 45 degrees. This has to be 45 degrees. So 45 degrees across from negative 1, so this has to be across from negative 1, which makes this negative 1 square roots of 2. Okay, so now we're going to get sine of 225 degrees. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 225 degrees equals opposite, so that's negative 1, divided by the hypotenuse, which is negative 1 square root of 2. Now, you can't have a square root and denominator, so we have to multiply both by square root of 2. Now, first off, a negative divided by negative is positive, so the result will be positive. So 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2, divided by... Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. All right. So with that, kind of gets you started on reference angles. And I know this is kind of some of these concepts are like, whoa, what's going on? Um, so um, don't worry. I can go back over some of the examples, all the examples or I can start the example that I did in the video um, in class on Tuesday. So, but this is a lot of fun. In fact, it's wildcat triggerific. So with that, reference yourselves wildcats and have a reference of a wildcat day.